morning, Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements, Bonham, Connecticut. I'm out here racing the rain. You saw the radar, there's a big rain coming. I got this big house to clean, it's very dirty. Let me show you what's going on. Of course, I got six projects on the list today. I don't know what we're gonna get done in the rain, gutter cleaning, etc. I got this big house, big deck. All we're doing is a refresh on this, which is spraying it with house wash, letting it dwell, rinsing it off. The back side over here on the other side of this deck, above that sunroom, you can see over there, is very dirty. I'm gonna be up there in just a sec, get you a better angle. First thing I'm gonna do is get house wash on these railings and let it set up. All right, so we got the M5. We're shooting about 1.25 through the proportioner. Pulling 10 to one with my injector. And we're simply house washing. This is Trex decking, vinyl railing. And we're just setting this up to dwell while we go wash the dirty side of the house. I'm giving everything a nice dousing. The bottom side of these railings are uh, what you see from the ground when you're down here mowing your lawn. So you make sure you spray up under these things. And I say everything just gets one healthy dose here. And then we're gonna wrap around and spray out when I get up in there. Beautiful. All right, those are nasty. Let's see how these come out. September 1st today, end of the season. It rained last night. It's gonna rain a little bit, or a lot of bit, in a little bit later today. So we're not too concerned with plants and vegetation that may be around here. It's at the end of its life cycle. So if I burn a leaf or two, or a flower or two, it's gonna have no consequence. Okay, so that's like <clears throat> 10, 15 minutes maybe. 10, I would say, of dwell, no rinse. I'm just gonna rinse these faces up real quick and then all the rest of this. Okay, we're done. That project took me, that's my SH tank right there. And that bottom, banding line on the tank is a 20 gallon line so we got about 22 maybe 23 left in there uh, this wash took me about eight gallons it is 9 15 9 20 and i got here at eight o'clock the house is done came out beautiful solar panels all rinsed off nicely with our triple rinse technique that we like to use and uh i'm out on to the next one gotta race the rain a little bit Okay, I'm out here on my second project. It's a little cape and it's very, very dirty. Unfortunately, this is something I did over the phone and I didn't realize it was aluminum siding. So we'll see what we can do with this one. All right, so we got the SH turned all the way up and you can see we started up at about 22 gallons. So I'm just gonna soap and soap and soap this. Let it dwell for as long as I, as long as I can. I'm probably gonna soap at least half the house and then come back here and see what this looks like. And I just texted the guy and let him know we didn't realize it was aluminum and that we won't be applying any pressure that will make it look dramatically better. All right, here's my results so far. That is two heavy soapings going all the way around the house to the back side over there and then circled back around and ended in the front here soaked the crap out of this place let's go take a look at how much we used parked on a pretty good angle right here too so let's see i'd say that's about five gallons so far there's a new doggy. Oh, but she's a good girl. 
It's been hanging out on the hook. All right, I'm calling that done. I'm gonna go around the back. I got a little bit of deck cleaning to do. I'm real pleased with the results. It only took me about maybe 35 minutes or so to do what we've done here now. And uh, pretty happy with it. Alright, so we got this old pressure treated stained deck back here that we're going to try to refresh. It's been sitting with house wash on it for probably 40 minutes, 35 40 minutes. I got the X Jet on there as a rinse tool because I can create the high pressure fan that I like on the lance. And I'm going to hit all these top surfaces and bring it back to life. All right, I'm real pleased with those results. That took me about a half an hour and it came out great. Nice refresh for the money. And I think the guy will be very happy. All right, I'm set up on the next project. I got this little one level ranch. Trucks over there. Wooden swing set out back that we're gonna wash. Lady wants to stain it. This is a customer we've done before. This will be a pretty quick project. All right, and here's the wooden swing out back. It's only a couple years old. Getting it with house wash. Let it dwell for as long as it takes me to rinse this house now real quick. And then I'll give it a nice rinse and we'll be done. I'm going to name this dog Callie, looks like. Let's see if Callie, Callie likes sandwiches. Oh yeah, that's a good girl. Yeah, there you go. Good girl. Don't worry, I have my own sandwich, people. Okay, that's Callie's sandwich. Work with me, you get to have a sandwich, right Callie? Good girl. All right, now I'm doing gutters. I had some lunch real quick. Dog had some sandwich. And I don't think these guards are working <laughs> at all. Not installed anywhere near correctly. Look at that. So someone was just saying, oh, you're lucky. Your gutter jobs are always so easy. That's not true. Come on now. They do a lot of this right here. This is all going right in the driveway. And then I'm gonna ball valve rinse this driveway when I'm done. I'm also gonna go to the end of the gutter once I'm done and stick the ball valve in there and give this a good rinse. Oh yeah. Okay, you can see back here on this roof, I've got these damaged metal gutter guards which I'm taking off. So I told the guy I'll clean the gutters, but I'm not repairing the old broken gutter guards. And these aren't working anyway because the gutter's full. So we're going to be ball valve rinsing up here also. Make short work of it. Doesn't get any cleaner than that. It's all the way raining now, so I'm calling it a day.
driving up my road right now, about to pull into my driveway. Check out my stone walk that I'm making. It's coming along pretty good. I'm not a mason, but I got more work to do. Doing a little more work on this down by the steps here. Gonna put some rocks on the side. I'm pretty happy with that. But I'm calling it a day. I'm done. Dog is done. Catch you guys tomorrow.